What's up everybody, Matt from Three Pound Fishing. We're back on the water, midday, midday. Actually had a guide trip this morning, went fantastic with my buddy Jimmy. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm back out here again because I've got to get some fish for a fish fry. So I, before the holiday, before the holiday, what can I say? But I'll tell you what, did you hear the news? Mr. Dance is now part of the Bait Pop team, which is totally cool. Uh, man, there are some incredible names in the bass industry, fishing in general, that have joined up with Bait Pop and uh, couldn't be prouder to be part of that team. So thank you for allowing me to be part of that team. And the new name, Bill Dance, all those great names and people that are part of it now is just unbelievable. Hats out to you. So today what we did was we, uh, we pitched all day. We pitched all day with baits and had a great time and caught, I believe just roughly around 40 fish, which was a great load of fish. To, uh, to have on a kind of a slower bite on my home life, lake. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a similar deal midday though, uh, try some different piles that I haven't gone to and uh, see what we can do. So uh, thanks for joining me. Here we go, boys and girls. And I uh, got the wind rider on, protecting from the sun. The hat's very important, by the way. Have a good one. Here we go. Baby, first drop. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna love that. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish too. Okay, well, that's uh, kind of interesting. Now, every time I have guide trips, you know, and today's no exception, uh, Jimmy came, he's kind of a regular here. We get along really good, have a great time. And uh, he came out with some new jigs. I'm gonna show you what I just caught that on here. This is actually an electric chicken right here. Check it out. It's available on his Facebook page. I think he's got a phone number here. Yes, he does. So love to help a guy that's just starting out in the industry. Uh, crappie crazy jigs, 618-924-0280. Yeah, he's putting his heart into it, which I really love. And uh, that bait right there, first drop. And uh, that right there is going in the, in the live well because we're keeping him for a, a fish fry. Probably the number two thing. People bring baits all the time. They love sharing baits. I love it because I want to find stuff that works and this worked for sure. Um, but also beef jerky, uh, deer sausage, all that stuff. See that quite a bit. And I'll tell you what, there was a gentleman that brought me some beef jerky that was like a maple glaze on top of it. And I could not find his, who had done it. I usually take great notes of my guide trips. And for whatever reason, I didn't put that down on the uh, the notepad that I usually keep. And uh, so if you're that guy, if you do maple syrup glaze on your deer jerky, man, that was the best I have ever had in terms of beef uh, deer jerky. So anyway, we're gonna give this guy another try here. All right, so there's our target right there. And uh, same bait, nothing's changed. First drop right after talking to you guys. And uh, I, you know, I let it just pendulum down there. I think they really want it slow right now. And, uh, you know, you still got to set the hook. Boy, they are hitting on that like crazy. Um, you, you know, you still got to have a quick draw because a black crappie, you know, they have not made their decision up whether or not they're going to keep that bait. It is a tough bite uh, and you have to be quick. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Oh, man. Lugo likes it too. The bluegill likes it too. That's a pretty good sized bluegill for my home lake. Maybe not the biggest fish. Pretty small fish. But it's a fish. All 
All right, guys, I was gonna show you a little bit about what's going on in my boat in terms of how I get organized before, during, after guide trips and tournaments. Now, I always have four of the uh, 10 footers in there. There's the Hammer 10. I always have four of them. I always try to load them up. Well, let me start off with this. All of them are loaded up with my Fluger reel. All of them are loaded up with 10 pound optimal sniping braid. For my home lake, that's what I personally love for casting, okay? Any other lake, I like the 12 pound or the optimized. That's how I do it. Now my boat is organized. I always have four 10 footers in the boat. That's how I like it. I have, I do have a 13 footer, a couple 13 footers in here uh, in case I'm at a different lake locally, but that's my setup in terms of rods. I have a, basically what we call a pro pack just for kind of a guide style. Cause there's every color, three pound fishing jig head in this uh, and size. But primarily I like the 132nd. Um, I like smaller is better than in the summer, so that's what I like right there, and all variety of colors. Now I really just have two main plastic boxes, and one is for uh, just your standard baits. That would be your minnow style baits. This is the black shiner right there, black top shiner. Uh, but it would have everything, you know, like Jimmy gave me some baits today. I went ahead and put those in there. Baits that are not swim baits. They're just meant to be essentially ver vertically uh, uh cast it or vertically dropped so and then we have our swim baits and this is all the paddle tails three pound fishing offers and some different ones I had a, a buddy of mine give me some of these guys uh, you know so daughter's boyfriend gave me some of those so I mix it all up in there in terms of swim baits but that's where all my swim baits typically are held and then I also keep uh, the hair jigs. The hair jigs, obviously I'm a big fan of hair jigs. We actually fished a lot with the hair jigs today. And uh, this is the box that holds my 132nd ounce hair jig. So everything that three pound fishing offers is typically in this box. And a lot of each and some variety of different new colors that we're trying out, all that type of stuff. But I love a 132nd ounce hair jig and I like to be, so that's my organization in my boat. Regular plastics, swim baits, and then small hair jigs. Now I do have a 1 16th hair jig uh, box as well. That's usually tournaments or muddy water bodies of water like Rim Lake, etc. So when I go there and guide, I have that as well. So that's pretty much the layout of my baits. I do have some extra reels I always keep in, in, the, in the boat, but uh, that's it. Um, always a full assortment of uh, obviously uh, bait pop and uh, crappie formulations right there and we use that and of course braid scissors one of the funny things about going on other people's boats is uh not having braid scissors so on my website you can buy these for like two dollars or something ridiculously low but i have these things sprinkled all over my boat i have about five pairs and it never hurts to have too many pairs of braid scissors in your boat in my opinion so braids become extremely popular in the, in the crappie industry which i completely believe in for setting the hook for just a lot of reasons so Anyway, that, that ends the episode. Kind of a short episode today, but I wanted to get something out there before the holiday weekend. I know that there's some, gonna be some sales coming up, so look forward to those. And uh, check out the Hammer 10 and all these great products. And it's a hot, hot week, month. And today the wind is blowing. So anyway, have a great one, guys.